How's it going, everyone? Old school GeoGuessr fans, yes, it's urban world, no moving around. It's been so long, hasn't it? 25th of August since I did this, which is too long. It is too long. Even though things have been sort of evolving on the channel a bit, that is too long, undoubtedly, uh, a gap. Now, I've mentioned this to you, but I, I'm, it might be that I make another channel and I accentuate the another because I've just made another channel called GeoGuessr Shorts. Shorts aren't for everyone, I know that. But if you are interested in having all your favorite classic GeoWizard moments just laid out for you on a shelf, uh, cropped and trimmed and presented beautifully for you, um, then do check out that channel. I think you'll find there'll be a lot of clips that you've forgotten about. Uh, but yeah, I might make another channel to um, act as a sort of play-along GeoGuessr channel, just for the old-school GeoGuessr fans that are still very much interested in, in those sorts of videos. Reason being, it might not make sense for me to upload them regularly on the main channel because it is getting so big and increasingly adventure orientated. But that way I can do both and not upset anyone. Secondly, and just quickly before we start, uh, some of you may remember that my mom wrote a murder mystery novel uh, a year or so back, and it was called When Skies Are Grey. Many of you bought it and read it and reviewed it and loved it. Um, she wants to say thank you so much for all of you who bought that. Uh, she's written another one. She's written a sequel, Something Wicked. Um, it's on Amazon. It's looks like it's free on Kindle. I don't really know. Uh, but if you did enjoy the first one, the second one's out. So do check that out. The very talented Jane Hurst. Not her real name. But the moment you've been waiting for, let's play an urban world. And let's not move around. And let's have loads of fun. There's the link. We're about to go. I'm excited. Ooh, boo, boo. I think it's Russia. Could be Ukraine, actually. <laughs> In which case, not boo. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have thought this is Ukraine. Let's check out the cars, though. The old car trick, yeah? Um, how Japanese are the cars? Or how European are the cars? They seem Japanese. Toyota. Is that an Opal or is it like a Hyundai or something? Looking over there, that's a Mitsubishi Shogun. Um, let's look at these ones. I think they're pretty much all Asian. That could be a Mazda or a Toyota. That's a Toyota. Hyundai, Toyota. So literally, we are we're in the east of Russia. Almost definitely, from what I can remember, because remember, it's been a while. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm pretty happy to pick a city that's you know pretty flat. A big city that's pretty flat. Now, as I remember, there was one that was. Uh, now, I'm presuming we're right over here, just because the Asian cars are so common. But actually, you know, I guess we could be... I don't think we'd be in Novobursk. Novosibirsk. Uptutsk, maybe? How flat is that? Pretty damn flat. I get, this is an option. Uptutsk. I mean, let's look at the map. We've got... I could be really just being silly here, trying to actually get this, but no, that's, you know, I'm trying to line the roads up. I think that's probably a bit silly, but you never know, do you? Could we be there? And the other option, of course, or options, multiple, is... Or are Vladivostok, which I think was quite hilly, so I'm just going to rule that out. Artyom, I don't really know. And then there was another one, another fairly major one here. 
which looking at it, the roads really do line up. These big, long, fairly long roads, that lines up with the compass for me. Should we go for it? Does the road sort of bend over, bend round? Yeah, it does, to the left. I really don't think this will be uh, correct, guys, but I'm having fun imagining that it might be. Maybe that, maybe we can find that. I think I'm wasting time now, to be fair. So I'm just gonna go, I'm going there with my hopes and dreams still alive. And they've been crushed. It's not that we weren't in the east of Russia. We very much were. We were in Yak ah, Yakutsk. Yakutsk. What's going on with the compass? That I was way off there with the angle. Um, Yakutsk, isn't that that city that's really frigging cold? It's in Siberia. It doesn't look that far north because of the way the map is, but... Yeah, I think that's like the coldest city on earth or something, <laughs> something like that. Uh, next one, moving away from Russia, hopefully. Uh, we're in the Alps here, I believe. Uh, let's look around. Mensa, Studia. Might be wrong. This might be the Pyrenees. Let's look around a bit. No, I don't think so. I think this is probably Italy. Alpine Italy, what's that? Oh, we've got a, just to throw us off a Borussia Dortmund flag. Um, there's no way we're, we're there, of course. I would have thought Switzerland, but let's look at the... Huh. Maybe it's Austria. Okay, sorry, I'm confusing you here. I've said Italy, Switzerland, then Austria, but um, it's the regs. The car regs have got the blue strips, so I don't think it can be Switzerland. I'm also seeing that, which is the Austrian flag, but there's a small chance it could be a decoy. Um, well, no, a decoy would imply that someone's put it there purposely to throw me off. Um, could be a coincidence would be a better phrase. I just think, you know, German, would you really get that many Borussia Dortmund fans in Italy who would hand their flag up? Maybe, but not as many as in a German-speaking country. I think it's safe to say, such as Austria. So I'm thinking, Austria, destroy capitalism. Someone has kindly suggested on this wall. Is that... Is that a bell end? No, I'm not going to do that again. Um, right, so Austria. Whereabouts? It's a pretty big town. Is this Innsbruck? Is that the river Inn? It could be, you know. I've been to Innsbruck. I kind of lived there for two or three weeks. And certain things do correlate. You've got the River Inn, which is sort of... It is that colour, I think. It's sort of raging along there. Got flats over there. There should be some sort of ski lift or something. I think it does correlate with Innsbruck, so I'm going to go in there. It might not be. Where am I going? There it is. It might not be, absolutely, but I think it's a good shout. We need to find these flats, and we need to look at the compass as well. We, we won't be on that part. We'd be, if anything, here. Which doesn't really add up to be fair oh, we've got a shop here studia I forgot about that that bin definitely might give something away and this but just can't read them not quite anyway let's try and look for this church Look at those buildings there. They could be those. And then here, so here we should have our shop. If 
Fructa Express, Marked Hall, Blumen Pier Marked Hall. We should have a, a market hall along there. Is that the market hall that someone's written destroy capitalism on? You could go for a, a more suitable target than that, really. It's a bit harsh. Uh, Studio Mensa, is that what the shop's called? Sorry, I know I'm taking ages here. Uh, even for me. Mensa. I can't find it, but I think... Because I'm thinking that this probably isn't Innsbruck. I'm just going to go for it. Uh, and I'll go there. I don't believe it. Well, I kind of do actually, because these buildings really did kind of suggest that I was right, but I was still very unsure, probably because, you know, I'm so out of practice, but couldn't find the shop, couldn't find the church, but having spent a lot of time in Innsbruck, um, yeah, I was fairly positive. Anyway, moving on. Um, okay, next round then, and we've got some English writing here. Edward Jones, Estate, something, Summit, Summit, Wellness Counselling, something, L. Peterson, Jordan, is that Jordan L. Peterson? Is that his name? Can you imagine if we found Jordan Peterson's office? That'd be incredible. Um, big fan of Jordan, but... That would put us in Canada, I, I presume. But no, I, I don't think we're there. Olive Street, that could come in useful. We know we're on Olive Street. But it's going to be about getting the city here, isn't it? Or the country, for that matter. Um, 13th Bike Lane, close use 12th Avenue. Okay, 12th Avenue, Olive Street. Is there anything on here? Attorney at law. Da, 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 da. Summit. So we could be near mountains. Um, don't really know what city that would... Or well, that could indicate. Don't know, like Colorado? Denver? Possibly. Can't see any kilometres an hour or anything like that you know, to distinguish Canada from the US. And I can't really see many license plates. I can see that one. But, yeah, Olive Street. So we haven't really got too much here. It looks pretty modern and pretty northern. Progressive city, maybe. Um, I, but I'm struggling with ideas here. Tammy S.P. Beach, that's that's a woman's name. That just says Summit. Definitely because of the, the, the picture aid. And that's it. We've got to guess now. Um, God, this is tough. This is tough. That kind of indicates it's sort of like a, you know, a nice, fairly historical... City, those banners. Are we recording? We are. Wow, I, you must be as surprised as me. Um, so Toronto... Summit doesn't mean that we're near a mountain. Let's just get that out the the way. Um, but I guess it's slightly more likely... Oh man, Denver. I, I'm leaning towards Denver. I don't know why. Tell you what, I'll have a quick look in some, you know, likely cities. And I'll speed this up if it's taking too long. Because we know there's a 12th and a 13th, you know, a numbered system. And then we know there's an olive. So if we find olive near 12th and 13th, that is the city, 100%. So I'm going to do that for a bit. So we've got 12th and 13th out here. If I could find it now, that would be absolutely insane. Um, so I've just got to find Olive. I'll speed this up because 
<laughs> this is unlikely to work. Cherry. We're getting closer. We did have president's names back there, but now we're getting food stuffs. Elm. Grape. Are you kidding me? That couldn't be closer. Grape. Forest. Ivy. I don't, I don't think we're here. Magnolia. Olive. I do not believe it. But again, I do because... <laughs> The, the pattern of uh, trees there was ridiculous. I mean, Olive was the natural successor to those, but I don't believe I've just picked the right city straight off the bat. That is insane. Um, I hope this is right. I mean, it's pointed in the right direction. I got Denver vibes. It's the first thing I said, Denver, Colorado, but so the summit, was crucial. That's what led me to believe, to, to, to think that way, isn't it? Summit. So there we go. Um, so how long, how far down this place are we? Because I'm not getting a lot of info about these uh, institutions. 12th 13th bike lane close. Use 12th Avenue. So if it's telling us that and we're going south, we must be north of of both. I could believe that we're there. I could, because you've got these sorts of things. And also, can we see that down there on that next street? Mm, no. Motor repair. Uh, I'm going to go for it. I'll just... Wait, there's a big highway there, apparently. I'll go for that. <laughs> I don't believe it. I really don't believe that. That is insane. I mean, I'm glad I said it might be wrong. But really, I have seldom ever been so sure we're in the right city based on, I don't think I've ever been so sure that I'm in the right city uh, based on the road names, only to f discover that we were completely wrong. Summit, irrelevant, it turns out, in a mad twist. Olive Street. To have an Olive Street meeting a 12th and a 13th with the same directions that... I'm flabbergasted, are you? I mean, even when things didn't line up in terms of the businesses, I still was like, it doesn't really matter. It must be the map that's, you know, not updated or whatever. That's crazy. But maybe that is me jumping the gun because I'm, you know... Maybe peak me, when I was at my peak, would have gone, no. You know, smell a rat. I don't know. I'd love to know. What do you think? Last but one round. And we need to be careful from now on. But I just think that was the most confusing. Okay, this is the craziest thing about that. I had an inkling it was Denver. So I went to Denver and found the exact street names touching each other, correlating with the same directions. But it was wrong. That's a huge coincidence. I'm sorry. Right, um, next one. But yeah, I was wrong. Eugene. It was Eugene O'Regan. Rex 150. Okay. Good bit of detective work, I, I sense, might be in order here. Rex 150. I don't know what that means. Got a United States flag, that's good. Um, but... Palancha service. So we're in the States. Let's see if we can find a license plate. 
no, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, for what it's worth, these these signs I think are pretty strictly American. Um, what do we think then about this? You know, where 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 this might be? Like these houses for me. I don't know. I think that could be a fair few places actually thinking about it. I think we can rule out some states. Could this be like Louisiana, like New Orleans or something? Um, I don't know. Rex, I have no idea what that means, Rex. No clue. The license plates are white, but honestly, I've totally forgot so many of them. Only a few of them stick in my head. I'm thinking this is, I just don't know. I just don't know. We know it's not, we know it's not sort of Nevada, um, Arizona, things like that. That's a, it's about as much as we know. And we know it's not super far north, you know, New York or Michigan because of these palm trees, I presume. Could it be like Carolina, South Carolina? getting, you know, Georgia, maybe. But ultimately, I'm stumped because I just don't know what this Rex thing is. And, oh, I was just about to say, and that's the only clue we've got, but does that say G-E-O? -G you know, could that say Georgia? Or is it just like Latin? G-E-O-R. I think leaves are distorting it, but... That's definitely a G, that could be an E, that could be an R, and that could be an O. Georgia. And it's the kind of building that would have that official, you know, it could be an institution or something. So that's the best I've got, guys. I've already lost a lot of points in this. Um, I'm sure many of you are beating me as a result. But yeah, Georgia, Atlanta... Or are we thinking Augusta or Athens? Could be any of them. But I'm leaning towards one of the others. Athens, Augusta. I mean, let's have a look. Yeah, I mean, that kind of adds up. You know, like the, the direction of the roads here. This would be an amazing redemption and an amazing twist to this video if we get this. I'm getting an Athens vibe from this building, um, which is kind of completely ridiculous, but we have possibly read the word Georgia. Uh, and if that does say Georgia, then this has got every chance of being Athens. So yeah, is this one of the main roads? Clark County Department. See, maybe we can find like an, an official looking building that says, you know, Georgia Safety Service of Georgia. I don't think we can be there though, because that it really is a main road. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Where did I go before? I'll just go there. Here we go. You are joking me. It's New Orleans. <laughs> I don't piss and believe it, man. That's the first thing I said. This could be New Orleans. I am just lost for words at this game. These American rounds have just been quite astonishing. My instincts were correct. My instincts were wrong in the previous one, though. Instincts improving. Score slightly improving. Um, but luck, definitely not. Uh, last round in this amazing game. Uh, upon my return. Right, Kulawong Marina, Brisbane Water. Okay, so we've got to be getting this. We're in the middle of Brisbane. Can't. Um, so yeah, let, let's do it. Let's 
What's this building? That looks pretty official. Ooh. Rodney Mullen. Um, oh, Sydney Hospital. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sydney Hospital. I bet we're in Melbourne. Uh, Sydney Hospital and Sydney Eye Hospital. So what the friggin' Brisbane Water. Okay. City of Sydney, okay. So glad it didn't say City of Melbourne then. Um, right, City of Sydney. So Brisbane water. Right, all we need to find then is is this. Um, Sydney Hospital and Sydney Eye Hospital, mate. So here we go. Let's see how quick we can get this. Royal Prince Alfred Hospital. There's another hospital. I'm sure I've done this before. Looks for uh, hospitals in Sydney. Mater Hospital, North Shore Hospital. Got to be around here somewhere, isn't it? In the middle with these tall buildings. St. Vincent's Hospital. I'm sure I've done this before and I'm sure the exact same thing happened. The one hospital I was looking for, I couldn't find. This is just fucking typical, mate. Absolutely typical. Ah, got ya. Sydney Hospital and Sydney Eye Hospital. There it is. COVID-19 Flu Assessment Centre. I think with... See, that looks like a museum. I think that is the museum and then... No, we do. We are there. Three yards. Get in. Oh! Oh, yeah! And we end on a high note. But I think many of you would have got that round, that last one, spot on. And there's our points haul. Um, the final round, acting as a salvager in terms of the points. Uh, it makes it not embarrassing. But you know what? I don't think I've uh, embarrassed myself there in all seriousness. Um, these two were pretty damn impossible to get and at least I can say that I was close in some way or another, um, quite bizarre ways. Uh, this one I'll just, we'll never get over that, that is just crazy. Eugene and Denver, you have one thing in common at least. Um, yeah, that's it, let's have a look at the game breakdown. Do we do that? I don't think we've ever done that before. Um, but yeah, there you go. An urban world, no moving after nine months out. As usual, let me know how you did. I'd particularly like to know how you did on those two American rounds. Did any of you, and be honest, did any of you have a look in Denver for Olive Street and find it and click there and just question your existence? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these and whether you'd mind them being on another channel called GeoGuessr Play Alongs, GeoWizard Play Alongs rather. But I will do a poll on that. I think I'll do a poll on my community. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Take care and I'll see you soon.